Hey friends, happy, happy Wednesday. Um, welcome to this week's uh, wellness off the mat. So um, the other day in class, I can't remember how we got there, but I was talking a little bit about like meditation and it, um, when I started thinking about what to do our little wellness series on this week, I thought, um, like that came to mind. So I thought, let's talk about meditation. So, um, it's kind of like a hot topic, right? It's one of those, um, go-to things. It's definitely like a, a buzzword, whatever you want to call it. Um, it's, it's like, it's, it's popular right now, right? Meditation as kind of like a solution and a catch-all for, for all of our problems. And it totally can be that. <laughs> um, yeah, like that stuff's real. Uh, but aside from that, like what, like what is it and how can we do it? So um, a lot of people think that um, A, they don't have time for meditation, right? So my favorite, my favorite quote about, um, about that is like everybody should meditate for 20 minutes a day. And if you don't have time, then you should do it for an hour. Um, really, really another like, yeah, that's true too. Um, like sneak it in. It does. So that's, so that'll be like my first point. Sneak it in. It doesn't have to be this. You go sit down in a special meditation chair that you bought on Amazon and you light your special meditation. Can it can be all of those things and that's great, but it could also be like while you do the dishes. Um, so you can sneak meditation into the things that you're already doing just by making them more mindful practices and just, by really paying attention to what you're doing and kind of letting everything else fall to the side so you can have more active meditations. So that's one, one thing is it doesn't have to be this big deal thing. Um, we can kind of get ahead of ourselves and get kind of blow things up and then we don't do them, right? We make them these really big deal things. So oh, I can't get, I don't have the special meditation chair and the thing and that, and I need a candle and I need incense and I'm allergic to incense and we can like talk ourselves out of it. So it doesn't have to be all that stuff, right? So that's first up. So second up is a lot of people think they're not good at meditation. So um, there's no such thing as being good at meditation. Um, it's just a practice. Like it's not, you don't win at it. You're not done. If you don't check it off the to-do list, like it's, it's a practice. So it's just this thing that you're going to do all the time. Um, or as often as you feel like doing, um, as often as you get benefit from in your life, maybe. Um, but it's just, it's a practice. It's just this thing that is going to become a habit and part of your life. So, um, so forget about being good at meditation or like, you know, like getting it done and or mastering it or whatever. Like, it's just, it's just a thing that you're going to make part of your life. Um, so when we change our mindset from like, I have to be good at meditation to like meditating is just a thing that I do. Um, I think that can be really helpful too, because we want to be good at it. And sometimes it's hard to be good, good at it. You know, sometimes my meditation practice is a lot of me not meditating and arguing with my brain that I should be meditating. Um, cause that's just, you know, where I'm at that day. So, um, so yeah, relieve yourself of the pressure that you have to be good at meditating. Um, cause you don't, you just, you just have to do it. Um, so there's, there's that. So what does that mean? Like, um, you know, I said, just arguing with my brain about that. I should be meditating. So we have like this, this constant stream of thoughts. That's just running. Like our brain is just, it's just saying stuff all the time. And so much of it is just crap, right? It's just, it's just talking constantly. Um, at least if you have, you know, crazy, insane anxiety, like I do, then it's just talking all the time. And it's telling all of these stories all the time. Also about stuff that's like, you know, not even real and doesn't even matter. So when we learn to meditate, one of the benefits is we stop the talking for a little while. 
Um, and it might be like 20 seconds and then your brain starts talking again and you get caught up in the story and then you go, Oh wait, I was meditating and you bring it back. Right. And you're like, okay. And maybe you talk to your breath, inhale, exhale. Maybe you count, maybe you use a mantra, right? There's so many different, um, ways to practice meditation that you can, you know, explore. And we can talk about that. Like, um, in a whole separate thing. Cause there's just, there's so many different things, but yeah. So maybe you just, you mark the breath, inhale, exhale, maybe you count, you know, four seconds, inhale, four seconds, exhale. Maybe you, um, use a mantra, something that you make up, or there's a lot of, uh, stuff out there already, uh, that you can use. Um, you could do Japa meditation, you know, where you count mantras on a, on a mala. Um, so like there's lots of different actual practices that you can do, but it's just about coming back to whatever that is and, and getting good at meditation is just maybe realizing a little bit quicker that you're, you're traveling off with the story, right? That you, you got on the runaway train. Um, maybe it's just being able to come back a little bit quicker or be able to, um, just recognize it faster, um, so that you can bring it back. So that is maybe what gets good in, in your meditation practice, but it's still a practice and some days are just better than others. It's just that simple, right? So these are just kind of some general tips. I really should come with like a plan when I make these videos. So I don't know if I tell you guys everything. So what did we talk about? Um, finding time. So sneak it in. I, I do a lot of walking meditation when I walk my dog. See, we just new ideas. Um, so I just try to be really present. You know, what does that mean? It means that I try to be really present. And when I'm going on the runaway thoughts, I try to just come back to like, what's happening right now. Oh, look at that beautiful sky. The clouds are really nice today. What's the dog looking at? Oh, look, a tree. You know, I live in the woods, so it's really beautiful here. And in the fall, there was, there was really great leaves and colors and um, she's wandering around right there. Um, so, you know, it was fun to you know, just be outside with her. Um, so just being really present. If you live in a more popular area, you know, maybe you have neighbors to watch and people watch and stuff like that. So, um, you know, just being really present, looking at your surroundings, seeing what's going on, uh, that can be a way to sneak meditation. Maybe you already take, you know, a walk every day. So there you go. There's your meditation practice. Um, so we were reviewing, so finding time, so there's that, um, not being good at it, taking the stress out of it and some techniques for just how to come back. So I think let's just leave it there. I think that's a good place to start. And if you want to start a meditation practice, here's, here's my solid advice for starting like one minute a day. So if you want to find time, create new space in your life to have this practice, Try different things. Don't force yourself, you know, give it a few days, you know, with a certain practice or a certain style. There's lots of things you can listen to, um, but whether it's music or guided meditations. Um, so there's, there's tons of stuff. So pick something, try it, but like commit to a minute a day. And when a minute a day feels good, maybe you try two minutes a day. But don't, don't tell yourself like, okay, I'm going to meditate for an hour if you don't do that right now, because that's going to be really hard. But a minute a day is totally achievable and a thing that you can do. So, um, either you can start, you know, just trying to make some things that you're already doing more mindful and make that your practice. Or if you want to really like carve out specific time for that, you know, maybe special chair and candle and all that jazz, or just time to really sit and have an intentional space in your life to meditate. Um, yeah, start with like, like a minute a day. And maybe, you know, in a week you get to five minutes, but you know, move at your own pace. Don't force anything and just, uh, enjoy it and remember like there's no pressure you don't have to be good at it it's just more about more about doing it 
So there's my little my little blurb and advice on meditation. Um, my practice changes daily. Sometimes it's that really intentional sit down with the fancy chair, light a candle, um, and meditate. Sometimes it's part of class and time with that. Um, it's always walking. Uh, throughout my day, I try to squeeze it in, just making that, that time more mindful. So these are like the actual tips and ways that I use in my life. Um, that's it. That's all I got for you guys. So happy, uh, happy Wednesday once again. And I hope you're having a good week and uh, not stressing the holiday season too much. And this is another great practice to, uh, to help us get through these next, these next few extra stressful weeks. Um, pairs well with our breath practice this month. So if you're following along and joining in for pose of the month challenge, um, we're learning and working on Nadi Shodhana this month, which is alternate nostril breathing. Also good for balance and calm. Uh, a great breath practice to pair with a meditation practice. So if you do, you know, start meditating and you want to join us for pose of the month, that's a great um a great uh, way to pair pair something with your meditation practice and and make a nice little a little space in your day for some self care. So uh, I'll see you guys out there somewhere on the mat here for Wellness Wednesday, whatever, um, wherever rather. And uh, have a good rest of your week, everybody. I'll see you later. Bye.